Greetings, welcome back to the outer world. Let's go to the medical bay, talk to Jenny, whoever, I don't remember. Oh, no, she's out. You, At least you finally got your chance to square our debt. That ought to make you smile for once, huh? Nothing makes me happier than being even. The good news came through the wireless. Once yeah. I guess that means I owe you now, right? Tell you, I'm short on bits at the moment, but I'm a decent scrapper and a better than average sawbones. If you're looking for a medic, I can work my debt off. Sure. Are you saying you'll work for me just because I helped Jesse? If I'm so. being honest, and I prefer not to. I was about ready to pick up another contract anyway, and you settled this in a pretty tidy fashion, which tells me you're competent. Okay. But we can say I'm repaying the favor if you prefer that version. Yeah, pretty much. Welcome aboard. Aboard? Aboard? Aboard. <laughs> what exactly did Jesse do to you? She helped me win a bet. What? What was the bet? We were on a smuggling run planet side when our point man bet me I couldn't outrun a mantisaur. And? and as you can probably guess, the thing was faster than it looked. Probably would have caught me if Jesse hadn't picked it off. So, okay. If you were that stupid, you deserve to get caught. Yeah. Mantisaurs can't run when they're full of holes. You really don't like owing people. It's like people touching a cookie and leaving it in the box. It's just one of those things that gets under my skin. Okay, welcome board. You won't be sorry. Though it looks like you've got a full roster already. Time to play favorites, Captain. Okay, mm Parvati, head back to the ship. I think we've done. Welcome to the crew, Miss Ellie. We're, real We're done with you for you. now. Okay, and let's see what equipment do you have. And I think you have perks available. Medical up. I don't really need it. Okay, I'll take it. <laughs> Play, yes, and I want to see your. Oh, I don't have anything else I can give you for that. Oh, I wanted to buy that one, I'm glad I didn't. Okay, now war. Hmm, where am I supposed to go now? I don't, I have no idea where that leads me to. Oh. Hello, for some reason I have to talk to you. Just my glands acting up again. No, it's not your glands. Uh, okay, I just wanted to. What do you want then? My hard earned wisdom? Kinda? Okay. What's the Portugal store by Navkeys? Common folk, and they'll tell you it's on account of all the monsters on Monarch desperate to gobble you up. Because that's what the board tells them, you see. Really? I think they made some fool mistake that would make them look bad to the rest of the colony, and they're trying to hide the evidence. Okay. What makes you think that? Those board folk are real prideful like. Never want you looking behind the curtain, lest you see their derrieres. But old Gladys knows the score. The whole colony is not much more than a diorama, showcasing one board screw up after another. That's why we gotta keep them from getting their grubby mitts on Groundbreaker. She's our mess. I think I can understand. What do you do here? Oh, a little of this, a little of that. Like a granny. Discretion to dispose of. Okay. Curios. Hmm. I also need throw pillows stuffed with the hair of famous tossball players. But that's more of a passion project. You are granny, what about aren't you? Non-famous players. I earned quite a reputation as a fifth back during my penitentiary, uh, seminary days. You do have a favorable mop, I must say. But that's not what you wanted to talk about, is it, dear? Why not? I don't really mind. Um, what is this about the hit? Groundbreakers radiators. Been neither fine nor dandy for weeks now. Miss Junley's supposed to be getting them fixed, but the board's determined to get in her way. Okay, how do you mean? The board can't abide a community that won't bend to its will. They've always got one scheme or another running, looking for ways to bring us to heal. Like this heat business. Shameful. Okay. But it won't work. No, ma'am. Groundbreaker's free till the day she dies, law willing. 
Minton, you mentioned groundbreakers outside of the board's control. The only independent station in the colony. That's us. Though for how long, I can't say. That all depends on Miss June Lay. And me. Oh. The board can't abide a community that Wait. won't bend to its will. I already heard that. They've always got one scheme or another, but it won't work. Okay, what my other question? Okay, thanks for your time. Purple bird bunch. What the hell is that? <laughs> oh, wait, none of that. Over to the sky. Uh, this was to unreliable and ask Parvati about Jun Li. Jun Lei. We'll get a security terminal the Great Breaker. Yeah, I need something with that. Acquire a science weapon. Yeah, but uh, we're not getting that right now. Okay, so let's go talk to our mechanic. God damn it! I did it again. Where the hell is the way out of here? Through here. Remember correctly? Yeah. I don't know how. <laughs> so, Vicar, Vicky, can I call you Vicky? Really? Absolutely fucking not. For a Vicar, you sure curse an awful fucking lot. Hmm. Rivals, departures. Okay, messages. <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. I hope I won't be thrown away from here once I... God damn it, I think he's looking. Hey, stop that! Okay. What do you think you're doing? Nothing. Oh. Um. Just don't complicate my job, okay? It's good <laughs> to be a talker. Okay. Where are you guys? Come on. It's time to get in here. <laughs> okay, I've got this. <laughs> I should have. Oh my god, I'm. Really? Oh! Another cartridge? Give me a second. That's. Yeah. Wait, where is that? I've been here before. Okay, give me a second. I think this is the one. Oh god damn it. Just yank the drive and I'll do the rest. Yes. I take talking records. Confiscated goods, okay. Security locks, okay. Now that we have the data card, we can finally find out where that scholar I'm looking for ended up. Good. Good, good, good. Okay. Guess this is just the uh, the way of getting in there. No, I thought there was something I could pick up. Oh uh, nope. This one? Eh. Uh -uh. Give the gift to Viker Max. Okay, I thought he took it. His name is Reginald Cheney, and he joined a sublight salvage crew. Only he's not listed on the return manifest. Must have made landfall somewhere he wasn't supposed to. 
Ah, uh, yes. Here. There's a domicile on Monarch in Fallbrook, rented to the same bit card he used to buy his seat on the salvage ship. I should have guessed. What better place to lay low if you wish to avoid the authorities? Yeah. You really... This all seems awfully convenient, yeah. I admit it was a bit of a long shot, but when you've spent as many hours as I have in contemplation of the universe's hmm. secrets, you sometimes get a sense for these things. This... this here... makes me not trust him. Can I somehow up my perception? Really? I'll have to look into that. Wait. Hmm. Mm -mm. Oh, nice. Mind attributes, I don't think I can. Hmm. Also, so mind. Oh, it is okay. What was that? <laughs> I'm gonna look for that again. I'm really. I saw it. Oh, yes. I could spend hours reflecting on the secret workings of the universe. Okay. Okay. So. Uh Okay. Oh, I don't think I can get that. Damn it. Hi. Something on your mind? Maybe. Yeah, I'll like no more about you. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. Okay. Do you have much experience contracting out with other captains? Perhaps? Sure do. Some of it was even legal. Oh, that's impressive. Uh, you weren't joking about being a pirate. Yeah. I have a feeling we'll get along. Okay, let's go. We all have to go. No, that, no, that's one. Nope. What the hell? I see. Track down original Cheney. Okay. Let's get back to our ship first. So I don't think there's much else we are. We'll be able to get them. You're always going on about destiny. You got a second? Who are you? Hey. Hello. Don't know each other yet? Yeah. I was in the middle of a little discussion with the local authorities when you passed me by. I noticed your ship in Florida. Yeah. I got to thinking you might be looking for some crew, so I wandered by just to take a closer look. Got to hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. And what are your? Um, you're pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Hmm. Tell me why I should hire you. You're serious. You're giving me mm. a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech just in case you asked. Hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. Are you reading this off your hand? It's a second draft. Firstly, I am highly personable, mm -hmm. and I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. Uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Mm hmm. Continue. Additionally, I have several years of experience as a box hauler. This skill may come in handy if you need a body dragged away or a door held open while escaping enemy fire. In conclusion, thank you for considering me for your ship crew and or outlaw gang. I look forward to our adventures together. What do you think? Am I in? I'm trying not to laugh. 
<laughs> what the what the hell kind of ship do you think I'm running? Unkind? I mean, what else do you do when you got a ship of your own? <laughs> Look, we are responsible. Don't blow my cover, okay? Okay. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Yeah, you're right. I don't know. You're not gonna regret this. I'll see see you in the ship, Felix. I'll gather my personals and meet you on board. This is gonna be great. I have a bad feeling about him. We're picking up strays now. Look at that, real vicar. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get along like a church on fire. Be careful, because right now I you're the least trusted one. Okay. Okay. Well, that's not my problem. Hello. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Sure. Is this about? <laughs> is it about to blow up? If it were, I'd be hollering loud enough to wake the dead. So June Lay and I've been talking some through messages. Okay. I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self. I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Do you want me to read it? Okay, it comes from the heart, you'd say. Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. Do you want to stay? I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't, I just don't care for it. Okay. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. You're about the warmest person I ever met. Could just be nervous, everybody's different, don't worry about that. Hmm. That sort of thing's plenty nice, but it's not everything. To me, the best thing was always just sharing space with somebody. Feeling safe and warm. When folks start implying you're a little different from an auto mechanical, you start to wonder. I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for hearing me out, Captain. You're welcome. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay. Okay. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? I don't know. They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. They were close, not anymore? I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we... Maybe head to the Groundbreaker, get some drinks at that bar there, Lost Hope? Hmm... Are you sure you can hold your liquor? I don't think drinking is going to solve this problem. Drinking never solved nothing, Captain. I, I ain't been able to sleep for three nights now. I just want to unwind, just the tiniest bit. Okay... I'm so serious, next time we're on the Groundbreaker, I aim to get a drink. If I got to, I'll do it on my lonesome. But I'd feel better if someone I trusted was there. Okay, let's go. <laughs> We're gonna go back and forth now. Please avoid hmm. Doesn't really matter. Okay, you can pick just two person. So I don't want to Vicar with me right now. Yeah, just the girls. Night out, drinking. Because why not? Hopefully they won't. You guys won't devastate my ship while I'm not there. Hey, 
lights off. Yeah. There are people unloading a ship. Which one? Probably another sublight contract hall. Ooh. Drugs. Should be bootleg. I think it's that one. No idea. Okay, but is there really anything else we can get done here? God damn it, I did it again. Eh. Hello. So, how does this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? You're asking me? Really? Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate tower? Yeah, I can talk to him. So here we are. Okay, so, what are we drinking? You're the expert. Am I? Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Okay. <sighs> you knew the whole losing up thing. Well, that's fruit and such, right? Yeah. Okay. Mine it is. Sure. Bottoms up. Good choice for getting sloshed when you want to act fancy about it. Wow, this is really kind of nice, actually. Who'd have guessed old fruit could taste so good? Fermented fruit. Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Generally or specifically? I mean, just with Junlei. I don't know what to do about us. Sad, but tell me why her message got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Uh, what's she actually write in the message you haven't said? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad. How a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think June Lay still has feelings for her? What the hell? <laughs> I don't think so. Well, maybe, maybe she just wanted to let me know her preferences, in a less awkward way. But that made it more awkward. I, I need another drink, right now, before I lose my nerve. Let's get you some water. Come on, Captain! I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I'm a little woozy. Hydration. Here I come. Aw, this was just about to get fun. Shush you. <laughs> oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but oh, I'm so scared. I really can shake the feeling, feeling that her eyes changed color. I'm pretty sure she had green eyes before. Okay, about what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we we get together and she gets bored of me? Hmm. There's an easy way to get answered to all those questions. There's nothing easy about about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical Yep. Condition. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Hmm... Are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? Of course. Wouldn't you be? Everyone yeah, is. Huh. I never thought of it that way. I wonder what June's afraid of being rejected for. She seems perfect to me. Maybe those are just my rosish colored goggles talking. To be strong like her. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think 
ungenerous thoughts. Something to work on. Yeah. I like the way you put that. Like, it's okay to want to be better for her, and not impossible to try. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. So? Oh, gosh. I... I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Hmm, you're still unsure? Don't ask for my opinion. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I just hope I'm not gonna lose her. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. Okay. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. I didn't expect and all of that, okay? Being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. Thank you. This was fun. We should do it again after you send that message. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Okay. That's gonna be it for today. Then we talked a lot. We get to know Parvati a whole lot better. That's gonna be it for today. Thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon.